right now. Keeping it local, you're watching Fox 11 News Daybreak. Right, Wendy, thank you very much. 8.15 new on Daybreak. If you're looking to upgrade your laptop, new technology is out, and our friend Andy Taylor is here to talk about it all. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. So today we're looking at the Asus Chromebook. There's been a big misconception when it comes okay. to Chromebooks. Now, when the original Chromebook started appearing, I wasn't a big fan. But when you look at what they can do now and how they're being used in education, in mm -hmm. schools, yeah. even some people who just like to get online and be able to type a document out or even watch movies on Netflix are really finding the Chromebook is a viable alternative to the laptop. Now, to give you an idea, this is the traditional laptop here. Kind of heavy. Uh -huh. The screen on it only goes back so far. It does have a hard drive. Mm -hmm. It does have a lot of memory. If you look at the Asus here, this is the Chromebook. This is also an Asus, but the Chromebook, definitely different from the laptop. Your screen goes all the way back. That allows you, in, a, in an environment of, of school or maybe yep. work, to share that information with friends, mm -hmm. uh, with co-workers mm -hmm. or, or people that you're doing a, a group project on. Now, one of the big misconceptions is you always have to be and connected to the internet. that's what I was saying. Internet. I thought with these, you always had to be on the internet. Yeah, no, that's not the case no. these days. You showed now, me, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> you can do some work. You can do work like yeah. documents, <laughs> spreadsheets. Obviously, you're not going to be able to stream yeah. Netflix or whatnot when you're not connected to the internet with uh -huh. this. However, you can do some work with these without the internet connection. And there's storage on here too. And there is, there's 64 gigabytes of storage and if you think back about five years ago when laptops were coming out, you could maybe get 100 gigabytes of storage on a low price model. Now this is priced at under $300. Wow. Which is not that bad. Um, you also, you don't have a CD storage, mm -hmm. but you do have two USB 3.0 devices. You also have USB-C. So if you want to take this and connect it to an external monitor that runs USB-C, you can. Now, some people say, does it run Windows? Yeah. Well, you can pretty much get it to run Windows, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to know what you're doing. Yeah. Honestly, you don't need to. If you're using Because it has its own thing, right? It has its Google OS. That's okay. what it's called. Your Google operating system, which gets security updates right away, okay. which is also nice. Doesn't run Windows, but if you look at it, and I, I think you can see it, it looks very much like a smartphone. Mm. Yeah. With Google Docs, you can do Google Photos, you can do uh, Google uh, Spreadsheets, Google, you know, Google Doc Words, the whole bit uh, are documents, and then you could save them out. You can even save them out into Word format. However, okay. Microsoft does make an app, online app, uh, uh, that if you want to use the Office Online, mm -hmm. you can. Uh, you can save documents in that format, but if you want to use the suite, just like we might find on a desktop, you're going to spend about $6.99 a month. Mm. It also does have a camera. You can okay. do Skype with it. So this is like an upgraded version of a laptop that you would have seen a long time ago. Well, I wouldn't, I, I be very careful on that line because it's really not a laptop. It's okay. a Chromebook. Okay. Laptops do have some great features, a little more power. Can you play games on it? Sure you can, but really honest, uh, you're going to get okay. the best with like an Asus Republic of Gamers laptop. Okay. All right, Andy Taylor, well, thank you. Nice to see thank you. Thank you, sir. It is 819. We'll be right back. Stay with us. So it's not a laptop.